So how are you feeling mentally now? With the kids, with partner, with training, like your whole life as a whole, how's it all going? Do you know what? For the first time in a long time, I'm absolutely amazing. Yeah, okay. And how, why? Like, like it's coming out and, and people can just tell from photos and like social media and they're like, you're just happy. I am, I'm so happy right now. Like I, have that balance in my life like I came crashing down after Worlds last year which is quite public knowledge everyone followed my journey on it and I made it apparent that that's this is what happens yeah and the amount of comp girls that have reached out because it's a hidden thing mm -hmm. no one talks about do it. you believe there's like it's a bit of a strong sort of title to maybe put on it but I believe that it actually is quite fitting like there's some new um, like eating disorder or like a, a, a there's a, a mental problem that sort of follows after a fitness show on a lot 100%. of girls that they, they don't address it and they don't understand what it is because yeah. it's not highlighted. And if you don't have a strong supportive yeah. like coach and support system around you, you will crash yeah. down. And it seems to be, like I said, this common thing that it's like this elephant in the room that no one talks about. Yeah. Like everyone knows how important it is yeah. to reverse, but the actual, that topic of it, a lot of people do fall yeah. isn't really discussed. Yeah. So when I did fall last year, it took me about a week or two and then I was like, no, I'm gonna share this. I'm not hiding it. Yeah. I'm gonna share it. I'm so, I cannot, I can't be that person that's like, I'm happy yeah. and yeah. dandy. I'm like, I'm miserable and I'm eating donuts for lunch. Yeah, yeah. I think that if um, you contact a trainer and you've got someone training you to compete, if they're not talking to you about after comp and if they're not talking about holding your hand through uh, like after competing, don't go with them. Because that is like the most important. And even like pre-prep and prep, like yeah. a coach that is worried about your mental health before yeah. your physical. Yeah. Like the first question of your check-in of the week, how are you feeling? Yeah. How's your body feel? It's just feel? a, How's it's a simple question, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, it's important. It's something that we don't even ask people around us yeah. either though. Like, yeah. we don't ask our loved ones or our family or friends, like, how are you feeling? Yeah. How are you going? But then again, if I ask my sister if she's okay, she absolutely blasts the shit out of me. <laughs> Why are you asking me? Now I'm pissed off because you're asking me this. <laughs> my husband does that. I'm like, are you okay? What's wrong? You yeah, don't Jack seem very happy. I'm yeah. I'm <laughs> now I'm not. Now what? you're making me upset because you ask me what's wrong and I'm yeah. like, hey, yeah. <laughs> I got three sisters, I know how that is. Yeah. <laughs> so when do you think competing is going to end for you? Are you just going to keep on just tracking on and have you got, what's your next goal? Listen, do you, do you put goals out there? I've got a few goals for the year. I really want to compete in October. Yeah. Now I have had the little devil on this side of my shoulder saying, you've got loose skin on your legs you're not going to stand up against those bikini girls you are like and this is still something i do fight a little bit yeah um will i stand up against the other girls possibly no but as well am i doing it for that reason yeah no yeah you got to work out your why <laughs> like i'm doing it for me because when i stood on that stage last year and then before i won like it's got nothing to do with winning when i yeah. stood on that stage last year i felt like You'd already won. Untouchable. Yeah. Like I felt the best I've felt in my entire life. Yeah. Um, so I will stand on stage. Yeah. And if my skin wobbles, so to be it. Yeah. And the amount of women out there that if that's if that's something that makes them ha like seeing me on stage and if I can do it, every single one of them can do it. Yeah. The beauty of, of what you're doing is that you're bringing everyone back down to reality. So many women will go through social media and like look at someone's body that's constant throughout the year and go like, that's where I have to be to make it or or that's just what you have to look like. And that's, it, it's, it's not it's not reality. Comparison's and the devil. It's reality, this it's is this is how life works. And all of that social media stuff is just crap at the end of the day. And Australia's only had two transformation rounds. So we only had, had 2019, 2018. Yep. So I'm so excited for transformation this yeah. year. Like it's I, my favourite oh. of um, WBFF. It's and everyone my says it. Like, yeah. and I don't know why more federations don't do a transformation yeah. round. Like, yeah. good on WBFF. Like Ari and Pauline, like, are beautiful people. Yeah, they are. And I've said to them anything this year to help you and work with you for yeah. 
um, WBFF and the transformation round, I'm down for. Yeah, awesome. It's an amazing category. And everyone, and all the pros come up to you. Like at the show, they're like, oh, <laughs> I can't even deal after that situation. And I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Like, this is just one big family. Yeah. And um, I'm so proud to be part of that family yeah. now. Like, so you've made a so lot of accepting. friends in the fitness industry and just yeah. people that can support you and you can write to and ask Yeah, even questions. those girls that are my, uh, I, like, I guess you could say idol. Yeah, yeah. Fangirl over. Who were you looking up to before you started competing? I hadn't really heard of the WBFF. Yeah. Um, obviously, being in Adelaide, we don't have WBFF. Um, what we have a lot of pros here that yeah. I didn't even know about. I know about ICN. And the first WBFF person I came across was Amanda. Yeah, okay. I love her. <laughs> right? So, yeah. and she was actually the first girl I saw. And then I watched a show because it was like two weeks later. Yeah. And she got her pro card. Yes. And I was like, yes. damn. Yes. I was there like, screaming my head off. I want to be with those girls. Yes. I was like, okay, I can do this. WBFF. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to do it. And that's yeah. when I said yes to in transformation. And then a few months in, I'm like, what have I got myself in? No. <laughs> but being around all those women, like yeah. I remember walking into Rejo Night and I was like, yeah. Like these, there's are all these women I see on social media and I was a and little bit real. kind of <laughs> Whoa. freaked out for a yeah. second. My anxiety kicked in and I was like, oh my God, these yeah. women are amazing. And then you talk to them and they are just normal people. Yeah. Yeah. Amanda definitely just makes you feel at home when you chat to her for the first time, like for five minutes. Yeah. She's great. She's so lovely. Her yeah. mum. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She got her mum. She got her mum in one of those onesies. The stuff that I like at onesies. Oh, did she? Yeah, yeah. It's just so cute posing oh, and working out I in it. I love them. I love I them together. So yeah, no. So we um, when I got up to the Gold Coast in May, yeah, which, um, has been is a been a little bit of a surprise, but I'll be up there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's so excited to hang out with all the girls. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be up there as well. So yeah. we'll see you. Oh, wicked. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a good weekend. <gasps> Ooh.